Hello everyone. Hey, it's Donald. Hopefully you guys can see my face. Uh, we're going to do a thermistor bypass. This is an approved item from Harvest Right. They have paid me before to do this process. They used to do it down at Harvest Right. I'm, I'm feeling they're probably not doing it. Typically, we will do this process when you see your temperatures fluctuate rapidly. Uh, you could have some low voltage, well, we know you have low voltage, running through the back of your tray systems. So this kind of bypasses the block that's there and should help out with keeping those systems good. If you're having errors with your trays with heating and stuff, sometimes this does help. I have had it help. Um, so we'll get into this. Uh, if you guys haven't liked the page, please like, subscribe, share this with somebody else that might be having issues with their trays where they're seeing their temperatures fluctuate really fast. This could be definitely the problem that they're having. So, all right, let's get into it. So first off, we'll, uh, take off our gasket. Pull our tray system out, unhook it, and then we'll set it on its face. I'm gonna verify you guys can actually see what we got going on here. And okay. So there's four screws. We'll undo these four screws on here. I hope you guys are having a good day. If you're messing with your freeze dryer, sorry that you're having to do it. I did this all as preventative, actually. This is a brand new freeze dryer. I just bought it two days ago. Um, and it was to make these videos for you guys. Uh, as I've said in another video, this one will probably list it for sale as soon as I'm done fixing it. And doing all the fixes and getting the videos made up and everything. So, you guys can see these wires, these real skinny wires. These are your thermistor wires. There are two on this side and two on the back side, okay? So what I do is push my screwdriver down to release the one wire on this side, and then I release the wire on this side. So let me go over the items we're gonna use real quick. Screwdriver, obviously wire cutters slash wire strippers. I use some zip ties just because after I'm done, I'm gonna zip tie it into here to make it look a little nicer when we close everything up. Heat shrink will be used. This is a portable solder made by Ryobi. They sell it at Home Depot. When I post this link, I will try making sure I post all the links to all the items that I'm using. Uh, this one's kind of nice because you just push the power button and it turns on. Uh, these do get super, super hot. So be careful doing that. And I have some of this electrical uh, solder. So we'll be using this. And then for people who don't want to use that uh, we have had people, well, I mean, they've elected to use wire twist. Um, these ones right here are probably as small as you can probably find. So you'll twist it on. So I'll show you how that works. However, for a permanent fix, I would probably spend the money for the solder because that's actually the approved method that has been used by Harvest Right. Uh, if you're going to use the twist, Definitely get some electrical tape as well uh, so you can tape them on. But we'll get started on this. So you have the one wire we did. You will then cut that off. Go to your 24 gauge and cut it off there. And this wire will peel off. I'm going to give it a little bit more. Uh, just give myself a little bit more to work with. And so that one is done. Cut this one. 
24. It says 24 on the wire cutters. If you've never used wire cutters before, give yourself some to work with. And then if you're going to use the wire nut, you want these pretty much the same. So line them up kind of like this. Cut off that extra. They're the same. I would twist them like this and then put your nut and it's a little long still so you would definitely want to probably cut it down more you put it in here and just twist these and it will automatically twist these inside like that um so now they're connected and then use your electrical tape to wrap around this okay uh it shouldn't really pull off i'm using a little bit of force not a lot but it doesn't really pull off so but we're not going to do it this way for the official fix so I am going to take this off, but that is one way to do that. You'll see all the wires are connected in there. You would do that for this set of wires as well uh, if you were going to do it that way. So, but the more permanent way, the way that I personally have been taught, the way Harvest Right was doing it down there is this way here. So you'll have your two wires cut like that. We have one piece of heat shrink. This is 1 8 to 1 16th. So once we heat this up, it will shrink down. You'll see here in a little bit. That being said, I didn't mention a lighter. So I will try making sure I have everything in the details. So put the cut I cut that heat shrink in half because I have two wires I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set this one just to the side and put these wires together as such and twist them together. So in the middle, about, I'm gonna go in and twist these together like so. Once I have that done, I'll take my soldering tool, very, very, very freaking hot, just so everybody's tracking. Do not burn yourself, please. And then it's gonna melt this metal onto this wire. If you can see, you'll see it's smoking a little bit. I'm not the best at soldering, by the way. So if you're a solder professional, um, please don't hurt me. Uh, I try getting both sides uh, just to have it in there nice and good. And that's all we're gonna do there. We're gonna leave that alone for a couple of seconds, a couple minutes, and that way it can cool down. So the next thing we're gonna do is take the next set of wires out. Remember that one's probably hot, so be careful with it, not to burn yourself. Next set of wires out. We're going to cut the end off like we did before. 24 gauge again. Use a tip, might help you just pull it off a little bit, uh, but if you can get your fingernails in there, it will also do the same. And then we'll do the same thing to this one. Pull it off. If you're gonna use the wires, the nut 